right, it's been a long time for this Dollar Tree haul. Um, for no other reason than I just couldn't make it there. Like, <laughs> that was it. Okay, but now that I have made it there, I went a little crazy. Um, a little crazy. Picked up some old oldies, but goodies. So I got some more of the Plackers Gentle Picks. And this is for my new work bag. I'm packing my work bag for going back into the office full time. And so I had to get some of these for after lunch, you know. These are perfect. They're plasticky. And this says they're flexible rubber bristles. And br rubber bristles. And they're amazing. They come with a travel case too. Love those. I picked up some of these coconut rolls because I shouldn't shop when I'm hungry. But these are really good. Um, they're like a good snack for when you're like, oh, I could use a little something sweet. But like I don't need. Sorry, Theo's behind me. <laughs> they're sweet. But they're not like donuts, you know. And oh no i was gonna say and they have the <laughs> reseal thing but they actually don't so keep that in mind when you purchase them i got these sleep aid the soothing nature garden sleep aid dietary supplement with melatonin and herbs this is fall asleep faster wake up without grogginess non-habit forming drug free there's only eight in here though um yeah there's not i probably won't be using these uh on Sunday night. A Sunday night is like really important for me to get like my full eight hours for the week to start. So that'll probably be like a midweek thing. The next thing I got was the Edge per Paint Perfect Edge Maker. And this is not a Dollar Tree product, but I did I did see someone else uh, review this and it did not go over well. It sheds a lot. Like I was able to just pick out some, but here, let me show you what it is. Um, I, we do paint, not frequently, but I do need to hit the edges of like the ceiling you guys have never seen that but I'm really nervous about this I might do a test before I use this like on the ceiling so not the ceiling but like the paint that before the ceiling on the top of the wall but I might I might do a test because uh the way that it was shedding like whoever it was that said that um I can't remember who said that but she was saying that it's another youtuber she was saying that if it sheds that bad, then it'll probably, like, particles of the fibers in here will probably come out while you paint and be stuck in the paint. And that's not good. We don't want that. Even though it's at the top of the ceiling, <laughs> uh, we don't want that. So the next thing I have is the Nighttime Sleep Aid by Value Health. And this is the ingredient that I do need in my sleep aid to keep me asleep. Because my problem is not falling asleep. It's actually staying asleep. Um, and I have a really hard time with that. What usually happens is I'll wake up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and then I have to do something in order to get retired. And like that's not something you can do during the week. So the it's the ingredient is diphenhydramine. Diphenhydramine. And this has 25 milligrams and that's the typical amount that you find in any of these, even the ones that are name brand. I just kind of like these because it comes in a bottle versus a little like tablet push thing. The next thing I got is some wipes. I love the wipes from Freshen Up, which is a Greenbrier brand. Is that true? Did I make that up? Is that true? Oh no, it's not a Greenbrier brand. Okay, Freshen Up is a name brand, I guess. It's a it's a brand, I should say. And I like the wipes from here. The only thing is that the resealable thing is terrible. But if you have one of the Cottonelle resealable things, you just put that in there. And I use these in the guest bathroom. They work perfectly fine. I bought, I bought an Aleve for my work bag. This is a work bag stock up. <laughs> and there's, there's not that many in there, but I like that these don't make a sound when you shake them. So it just doesn't sound like you're carrying a container of pills. Uh, that's a little important to me. I did pick up another one of the pain relief patches in the extra strength medicated from Corelite. I know I said I would stop picking these up because they're not big enough, but the cream, there's just no win with the situation. The cream kind of like sticks on you and doesn't stop being sticky and so when you're trying to sleep with this stuff on and you have cream on it like rolls on your stuff it rolls on your pajamas it rolls on your pillow and then everything smells like minty stuff so this actually works a little better even though i have to use like three patches because they're super small if you're new here i'm gonna go ahead and open that they're about this big which is like that big and that's not that's not that big yeah, you'd have to use like two if you have an area that's a little largest. Just keep that in mind. But the, they actually work. So I have very like not serious pain though. Keep also keep that in mind. I picked up some hydrocortisone cream and this is compared to the active ingredients in Cordaid. We're just trying to get our um, 
medicine cabinet up back up it got drained pretty much this year so we're trying to get things back in there and this was a part of that my husband uses the ap safe nighttime sleep aid and this has the same ingredient it's just a liquid um this is compared to z quill and he really prefers this whereas i do not like the flavor of things right especially right before i sleep so i don't use this that's literally the only difference but they're the they're the same medication um the next thing i got is actually for my planner and it is just a two pack of the zebra gel retractable pens i prefer retractable pens when it comes to my planner so these are smooth skipless writing it is zebra brand and i really wanted to give these a try and i prefer clickable because i lose the caps and stuff i just do so i don't need that it, whenever i have the option to not i pick the option to not the next thing i have is also for the well actually i think this is a very similar idea this is a sheffield pharmaceuticals relief extra strength anti-itch cream and it is compared to benadryl extra strength let me see actually is this the same ingredient diphenhydramine diphenhydramine yeah it has the same ingredient as the sleep aid so keep that in mind um it's a lot less this is two percent i wonder how many milligrams that is it says okay so this one's called Okay, so yeah, they are, no, they're pretty much the same. That's really interesting. I'm going to have to look into that because I personally don't use Benadryl um, creams very much. But I wonder, like, do they make you sleepy? I don't know. I've never thought about that before. But it is the same ingredient in the Sleep Aid. Um, the Sheffield Pharmaceuticals, though, is not a Dollar Tree product or a brand. And I really, really like the quality of their products. So although you don't get the cute packaging and the really nice packaging, um, this doesn't expire until 2024. So really, really like that. The, the fact that it's small also is very helpful for us not to reach that expiration date and still have some. I found that with Dollar Tree, I usually get... <laughs> more than my money's worth because i actually finished the products in addition to it just being cheaper um and very similar the next thing i have if you can kind of hear them are sprays and i said in my one of my videos that if i found this spray again i would get multiples now i do have another one i don't know where it is but i have i did haul three of these and this is the fresh airwick fresh new day mango and hibiscus you guys this is so good and if i can find this in anything else that's airwick i would because i don't like airwick products too much they're not very impressive as far as the scents go also i just read it, it claims to odor eliminate and that's just not true it's just not true but this does smell really good it says propelled by 100 percent filtered air what are these claims like airwick Honestly, Airwick, as far as a store brand, kind of lacks uh, as far as scent goes. But this scent smells so good that I now have four of these total. And I love them. I love them so much. So I'm going to go on the internet after this and look at what else comes in this mango hibiscus. Mango and hibiscus. So now that I'm reading the back, it says it's inspired by natural essential oils. My thing is just like, don't put that on there. Like, don't. Okay. The next thing I got is one of my favorites. Glade is Glade is one of my favorite brands, store brands, as far as scent goes. And this is the Sheer Vanilla Embrace, one of my favorite scents from them. It's year round. And it's just good. It's just a good vanilla scent. I remember when I was a kid, uh, one of my babysitters, she was an adult person with her own kids. But she used to use the Sheer Vanilla Embrace and Glade in a candle every day after school when uh, she picked me up from school. And I just thought it was the best thing. I used to love to hang out where that candle was. And now that I'm older, like, I love that scent still. It doesn't bring back, like, any, like, fond childhood memories or anything. But I just really like the scent. And that's the only memory I do have is, like, her picking me up. And then me going to her house and, like, sitting near that candle. Because I was uh, at their house. So I didn't have, like, my own room. I didn't have a space to go to. But I definitely had my own little space in the living room with my candle. <laughs> the next thing I got is two packs of the Good and Clean disinfectant wipes and this is 24 pack this contains the most wipes you can get at dollar tree as far as disinfecting these work perfectly love them and i really just use them to refill the containers the circle containers and that works i just cut the top and then i open them put them in the container and they don't come out as smooth if that makes any sense but they still work um there's no like struggle there it's fine it's fine so 
got those. Um, <laughs> the next thing I got, well, actually, I'm going to make a part two. So let's conclude this here. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And we're going to move on to video number two.